Hello and welcome to another episode of Modern Infrastructure Wednesday. I'm your host, Lee Zen, and today we're going to be covering the Azure Cosmos DB Serverless Preview, along with Plumi's new Azure Next Gen Provider. So what are we going to do today? We're going to be covering creation of a Cosmos DB account, provisioning a database container, and then also setting up a client to interact with that container. So very basic stuff, but really just excited to show off the new uh, Next Gen Provider that we've built that really covers the full surface area of all those Azure resources that you want to use and really you know, the ability to use any feature on day one once it's announced because we're compiling our provider uh, based on the actual Azure uh, REST API specs. So let's get started. I have a TypeScript program uh, here. And so uh, you can see uh, we're importing from our new Azure Next Gen provider here. And then I'm also importing from the uh, Azure Cosmos client. Uh, I already have everything pre-built because uh, I don't want to spend any time on the provisioning steps. Uh, and then so you can see like this looks and behaves very similar to the previous Azure provider. You create a resource group, you create a, a document DB database account. Uh, we give it, you know, the parameters we want. Uh, in particular of note here is that you can actually, again, because we're reflecting the full surface area of that resource model uh, in the Azure REST API, uh, we can give this a, a capabilities uh, property with the name enable serverless. And this will enable the a serverless preview for Cosmos DB. Everything else after that is fairly standard. We create a SQL database uh, in, that, in that Cosmos DB account, and then we create a container to interact with it uh, as always. And then finally, uh, you know, you could do a number of things with kind of these outputs now. So we have, we've, you know, at the end of this, we'll have created that account, uh, the database, and then the container. And then you can then get back the connection string. So you can see here, you, again, using the new uh, provider, we can actually uh, make a call to list database account connection strings, which is again, part of that REST API surface area that we've modeled. Uh, and so uh, we can actually, you know, get back those connection strings. You could totally imagine taking that and passing that on to something else. Uh, so for example, uh, passing those connection strings onto, for example, a function or something like that, or, or storing them as a secret so you can use it later on in your web app. Uh, in, the, in our particular case here, I'm just doing something super simple. I'm using the Cosmos client uh, that I've imported from above. And then I'm just going to uh, insert uh, a single item uh, here with just like, you know, some key and some value. And so if we, if we were to run this, if we were to run this program, um, we've already gone ahead and, you know, all these, all these resources were already created. So there's really not too much to show there. Uh, but with the, as you can see, there's no uh, no changes. But if I if I say yes, uh, this particular apply uh, will actually run, and uh, we should see uh, an additional item uh, in our data store. So if we kind of go here, and uh, this is the items, this is the this is the uh, serverless uh, DB that I created, and if I refresh my items here, you can see that I have a third item now, uh, and that has that uh, timestamp uh, inserted in. So yeah, I really just wanted to go through the basics of using the new native, the new uh, uh, next gen provider with the with Bloomy and kind of how easy it is to use it uh, and how easy it is to actually you know wire things in and get your applications up and running on on the new preview for Azure Cosmos DB. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Modern Infrastructure Wednesday. Please make sure to subscribe to Bloomy TV for future updates and leave your comments below. And like the video if you enjoyed today's episode. And I hope to see you next week on Pulumi TV. Thanks very much.